Well, Lloyd, tell me about this project you have going on here. What kind of uh, freighter canoe is this? Well, it's a Trombley model that was built in Quebec. I would suspect it came out of the 50s, I would think. I would imagine the same thing today. Would, if they were built out of wood, it would be more of a novelty thing than anything. Although these were both still built, so freighter canoes uh, out of wood, the same construction as this. And, and, but most time, most, this is small for a freighter. It's got a 45 inch beam, which is the width and 17 feet in length. Whereas most freighters that are meant to really do a job would be the big enough you could actually sit a, a Volkswagen in it and, and it would carry it. So it, they're uh, a good sized boat and the bigger one would run like with a 25 horsepower motor on. And they're, they're still used up in, the, in James Bay and Hudson Bay by the locals up there. In fact, some orders come from Keesler Boats in, in Pawson now for their canoes. Well, a few years ago, they sold for about $5,000, uh, I believe. Whereas this canoe is the, the same way as what Giesler builds. It's called Cedar Strip. White cedar ribs and cedar planking and then canvas covered. Usually it's ash, gummels. I used uh, black cherry simply because I had it and it looks nicer. And it's not going to be out in the weather. It's going to be kept in the boathouse, so... It'll last a long time that way. I guess I picked it up uh, several years ago, then finally got around to working on it after I had a few other projects out of the way. A friend of mine, actually an artist, uh, helped me put the canvas on. We both read up on it and uh, applied what we knew. We had never done it before, but we're, we're keen on giving it a shot. You just follow the recommendations that, from the experts, and it actually works out that as long as you work carefully. And, uh, this thing would weigh probably about 100 and between 100 and 120 pounds, so it's it's not a light canoe, but it's light as boats go. And I would suspect that this would easily carry a thousand pounds. I would say, seeing as how. Prospector, you know, the basic prospector canoe that's 16 feet long and is used for tripping, uh, they can carry up to 800 pounds. So imagine this would easily handle a thousand. When I first got it, the interior looked like barn board. It was, it was gray and uh, bleached right out. It looked like it had been sitting in the sun for a long, long time. There was 10 ribs that were broken in the center, which is where we get the most uh, punishment if you. Uh, ran on rocks or anything because it's simply because it's wider and you get more flex in here in the bottom. So I replaced 10 ribs in here, which involved steaming them, which was uh, kind of interesting. I had done a little steaming before uh, and built a steam box and go by the recommendations. So you steam one hour for every inch thickness of wood. Now in this case, the, these are only uh, five sixteenths of an inch, so they got about 15 or 20 minutes in the steam box. Put them in here, and if you, when you do it right away before they, they uh, start to cool off, it's surprising. You, you can get this curve out of a straight piece of wood and it doesn't break. So that, that was very satisfying to be able to do that and, and actually have it turn out. It was just a matter of cleaning up all the interior. It's got one coat of paint on it. Now it needs at least one more. The gunnels had to be replaced. These are the original thwarts that, that were in it. I put a new treads along the, the back end. It was getting a little wonky. You can put a small motor on there. I, I would suspect up to five horsepower. Well, oh, maybe even bigger, but I'd run a five or smaller on it. It's been a labor of love because I love boats. I love old boats. They've got to be made out of wood, of course, and I like anything that's wood. It'll be going in this summer, but sometime in June, probably, I'll have it in the water. And, and an interesting thing here, I'm just making a, a seat. Pat's sister had, lives on uh, Calmer Bay, and originally where they lived was a cottage, and they tore out some of the interior and to put up drywall, and the interior was done in uh, one by eight pine and varnished. Being a wood guy, I couldn't see that some of this stuff, you know, going to the dump, so I brought some of the boards home, and that's what I'm making the seat out of. And this is where the boat is going to be kept out there at Edmunds Cottage. It'll be out of the weather. These canoes, of course, didn't come originally with a seat for lounging in. 
But that's what the canoe is going to be used for. So these are the boards that already varnished. Now the next step is what I'm doing today. It's going to have a back on it. And this will be one of the, the braces at the back. So we, you can see two people side by side and it'll be comfortable just like a, riding on a regular motorboat. Well, the queen has to sit somewhere. Oh yeah, for sure. I think probably what I'm going to do is uh, buy a, an electric motor because it's quiet. When you're out in the water and it's something so pleasing to the eye, you may as well have total silence and just hear the seagulls and the loons and not have to listen to a motor.